Ain't no way he, ain't no way, ain't no way. I said, baby, do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drupal. <laughs> Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, y'all ready to tell y'all know what the heck we finna do. I did a reaction a couple a couple weeks ago or whatever. It was to these little kids that have superpowers, right? And this randomly just popped up on my um my recommended page on YouTube. It's some more superpowers. Now the first the first video is like people that had fire bending and stuff like that. I was explaining to y'all in that last video. If you guys did not go watch it, if you guys did not watch it, go watch it now. You know what I'm saying? But I was explaining to you guys like my superpower. I had multiple superpowers when I was a kid. I never wanted to use them because like once you start using your superpowers, then like everybody wants to be like, oh yeah, superpowers. Oh let's go like test them and like take them to a lab to try and get everybody else to have his superpowers. Like I be having like fire bending, wood bending. Earth bending. I'm basically the avatar. Like to be honest, I'm basically the avatar. But um this video is more people with powers and stuff. So we finna watch this. The other video kinda blew up. We got like 150k or something like that. So let's get to a million views. Like the video right now, man. Before we get to the video, I know the vibes. You know what we have to do. Big Jew rag energy. Big Jew rag energy. You know what I'm saying? You see it, it's sexy one, you can have it. Joy.com, I say my two good third free one up say sub fifty. Dollars and we just released the brushes wave creator brushes. They right there wave creator.com I'm saying you're gonna want to copy sell some heat if you don't have waves you need this if you try and get waves You need this if you have waves already you need this if you a girl and you need to pull your hair back for some freaking um Ponytail or something you need this just they the best brushes look quality sexy beautiful We got multiple different colors so y'all go copy but without further ado it's just hop right into this at some stage as a kid, odds are you daydreamed about having superpowers. I didn't have to daydream. Either being able to fly, having super strength. I can do that. Got that. Or being able to shoot laser beams out of your hands. You saw that? It's so fast. I'm def you saw it? Y'all can't see it on camera because like I be having a visibility powers too, so I make my powers invisible. So if it's, I'm fighting like a villain or something like that, they can't see when I'm shooting at it. You feel me? They, they never see it coming. It's just like, you feel me? And then they, ah, you feel me? Why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? Exactly. What if I told you that superpowers weren't just for the common? Wait, what was that? Extraordinary. What if I? This ain't no superpower. This is torture. What the f going on here? Why your nose like that, man? Why you got all these bees all over your face? I told you that superpowers weren't what just for the comics. What is going on? Ready to meet these gifted people with superhuman oh, no. abilities? Let's get it on. Slavisa Pajkic. Those familiar with the Spider-Man comics would know one of his arch nemeses, Electro, the master of electricity. Well, Serbian Slavisa Pajkic isn't called the Battery Man for nothing. And sure gives Electro a run for his money. Hey, this is a man who makes a living manipulating current, whether it be conducting it or storing the charge in his unusual body. Let's take a little look at some of his accomplishments and you be the judge. He has the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to heat up a cup of water, getting it up to boiling point by channeling 20,000 volts for a remarkable 1 minute 37 seconds. Not only that, but he's also more than capable of powering light bulbs and could- He bo wait, he boiled water and cooked the egg with his mind? Why he holding a glizzy like that? But he, I need to watch that again, what? Accomplishments and you be the judge. He has the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to heat up a cup of water, getting it up to boiling point by channeling 20,000 volts for a remarkable one minute, 37 seconds. Not only that, but he's also more than capable of powering light bulbs and cooking sausages with his bare hands. He can even light a fuel soaked cotton wool ball from his scalp by sparking electricity from it. But this is where it gets really crazy. His next record will involve charging up on a million volt generator and shooting sparks out of his hands. Shake his hand at your own risk. GLT Raj. Wait, 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 wait. We're not skipping past that. He's gonna charge himself up with a million volts. My Tesla takes, I don't know how much my Tesla, how many volts my Tesla takes, but I don't think it's a million volts. This man's gonna and then shoot sparks at his hand. In the movies, often the hero's superpowers are revealed to them during a time of turmoil or need. Jyoti Raj was no different, initially climbing up a large rock to end his life before feeling a jolt of inspiration. Climbing wouldn't be how he took his life, climbing would be how he lived it. In his native India, Jyoti- Wait, 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 he, st he, he climbed the rock to, to off himself? That's so sad, but I'm glad he found like a purpose in life. You know, you feel me? That's really how God be working. He be fine. When you at your breaking point, that's when God come through. You feel me? He gave this man a purpose. 
He gave this man a purpose using the thing he was gonna use to off himself. That's crazy. It's known as the Indian Spider-Man. He originally learned to climb from watching monkeys, and on that fateful day that yeah, almost proved his doom, he Wait. realized another thing. He had no fear of heights whatsoever. There are many daredevils in the world that perform death-defying stunts climbing up buildings and monuments, but GLT is different. What sets him apart from his peers is that he refuses to wear a protective harness. He's so confident he won't fall that he's... If you're driving traffic... Wait, what the... Site, he refuses to, to wear a protective... It's the tool? What? Okay, let's pause. He refuses because he's so confident. What? Because he just doesn't need one. The only thing he needs to scale up the wall of a building is his $200 specialist climbing shoes and a bag of chalk for gripping smooth surfaces with his hands. Asian Hulk. Often referred to as the Asian Hulk, martial artist Zhang Shizu has a rare condition known as CIP, or congenital insensitivity to pain. In short, he's able to do some pretty remarkable things without feeling the pain afterwards. Normally, karate chopping a rock in two would be something 99% of the world's population wouldn't consider, but not this guy. Heck, he'll even pass you a slice of durian after he's cracked open its extremely spiky outer shell. Likewise, busting open metal pipes with his shin in brutal- Okay, buddy. You don't feel nothing, huh? How about I slap the lie out of you? Ain't no way you don't feel your, your shin hitting that, hitting that. Look at the man in the back. This man right here, that's how everybody else feeling. I, I bet I'll take a scooter to your, your shin, you finna cry. I bet I, if I take a scooter to your shin, you finna cry. Kicks, even able to bend a thick wrench under the sheer force and ferocity of his blows. Push-ups using just two fingers? Too easy. That's Doing easy, I can do that. push-ups while balancing his entire body on three beer bottles? That's easy, I can do that. Popping cable that. ties with just a flex of his muscles? I can do that. Now we're getting into true Hulk territory. Whether it's food, tools, or the human body, you name it, he'll break it. Norman Gary. Ant-Man and the Wasp can control insects thanks to some clever telepathic gadgetry in their helmets. But Norman Gary doesn't need gimmicks or technology. He's the real deal. He's regarded as the foremost expert on bees by other bee experts. There's nothing he doesn't know about his What? The fa? What the fa is going on here? What is this? Why are you covered in the bee while playing the clarinet? You're not Squidward. You're not Bee Man. You're a weirdo. What the fool? Who said? That's not a power. That's a stupidity. That's a problem. A mental, a mental illness. Pollinator pals and has made it his life's work. He wows audiences by gently ushering over 100,000 bees onto his body without suffering a single sting. More amazingly is his ability to somehow communicate with the swarm and get them to bend to his will. His greatest achievement was to direct a single bee to follow a precise path, making several 90 degree turns before moving under the collar of Agent Scully during the filming of an X-Files episode. Norman was able to do this with a bit of bee psychology as well as the queen bee pheromone formula of his own creed. Wait, did they just say he talked to this bee and told it to go inside this girl collar or something stupid like that? What the f- It was to direct a single bee to follow a precise path, making several 90 degree turns before moving under the collar of Agent Scully during the filming of an X-Files episode. What the f- Echo, oh, oh, imagine having the stupidest superpower in the world you could talk to freaking bees. I hate bees. I hate bees. I don't mind other animals or other insects. I can do spiders, I can do ants, I can do- I can do moss, I can do fly, I can do all that. Well, I can't do bees and I cannot do wasps. And I'm saying I do not do the stinger stingers. I cannot do so who the heck want a superpower where you talk to freaking bees? Who wanna talk to a bee? Bee, turn around. Bee, do this. Bee, be be, be, be stupid. That's what you be. You be stupid. So, Norman was able to do this with a bit of bee psychology, as well as the Queen Bee pheromone formula of his own creation. Christina Zanato. Poor Aquaman. As far as superpowers go, the ability to talk to fish is about as useful as only being able to fly two seconds at a time. Despite this, Christina Zanato is showing us that having a connection- If you're driving traffic okay. to the website- Now we just got people talking to animals, man. Yeah. It's the tool. Is this something? Tell me there's something I could talk to a to a lion. If somebody talked to a lion, that's a cool, that's a cool power. I could do that. I want to talk to lions and tigers and stuff like that. But talking to a bee, what type of stupidness is that? Talking to a shark, you 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 just hate your life, right? 
Okay. Pretty handy superpower to have. She's been diving in the Bahamas for over a quarter of a century and knows the resident Caribbean reef sharks like the back of her hand. And mind you, that's yet to be bitten. She thinks of them as her babies. And just like any mother, she's fiercely protective when her children are in pain. She's removed hundreds of hooks from the mouths of her beloved man eaters over the years, not balking once to reach her hand deep within their multi road serrated tooth mouths. Amazingly, the sharks remain super calm and relaxed while Christina goes about her unorthodox dental work. If this what? isn't proof she can talk to fish, then I don't know what is. Master- What the f- She be taught. she be- Okay, first of all, she said- They said that she be removing the hook. Something's crawling on my leg. I don't like it. Maybe the bee man is coming for me. So maybe the bee man is coming for me, sending his bee- bee whatever's after me. Watch out, man. I don't like that. But she- She talking about she talking to- t Wait, she said they took the hooks out the, the shark's mouth. She gotta stick her hand in there to get it out. You think I'm stupid enough to? St I don't care if I think I can talk to freaking, to freaking whatever the heck she talking to. Sticking your hand inside a shark mouth to do something that's gonna hurt it, which is pulling something out of it. You think I'm gonna induce pain into a shark with my hand in its mouth? I, I, I ain't stupid. You're angry, yo. They say the pen is mightier than the sword, but what about the finger? My question is, what the hell? Kung Fu master Ho Eng Hui has spent his entire life training his entire being, his body, his breath, and his mind, to concentrate into a single, awesomely powerful finger. I feel sorry iron for his fist girlfriend. Needed iron fists, but we only required one digit. The unit of measurement for finger strength seems to be the humble coconut. We is the Guinness World Record for cracking four in just 12 seconds, and is even able to pierce a much harder green coconut and drink the juice. It's like having your own built-in cocktail maker. He performs on the streets of Malaysia, where tourists exchange a coin in order to see how a man can feed his family using just one finger. He began training his fearsome appendage. At yeah, I feel sorry for his, his girlfriend. His girlfriend's getting the the the. the you you know what I'm saying? She getting the, the, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. The age of 17, where he would jab his finger into palm trees for hours on end. Best to stay on his good side though, as this mangled, gnarly looking figure could quite possibly go through the bone of a human skull. Steel Man of India. Strength isn't just a measure of how much weight you can lift in the gym. There's no point being strong if you're not durable at the same time. Amandeep Singh is a bit like an Indian Superman. He has the muscles and the toughness to match. His lifelong dream is to become the world's strongest man, except he's going about it- Ain't no way he- Ain't no way he ain't no way. I said, baby, you got me speaking it. Ain't no way I'm doing that. Ain't no way somebody doing that to my ball sack. Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. Ain't no way they doing that to that man. Ain't, ain't, I can't even look. I can't even look. I cannot even look. I can't. A little differently than other people. Sure, there's the oblivion. I'm glad they didn't show that, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that just had me speaking in tongues and everything. I didn't, I didn't turn to freaking pasta all of Oh my days, his balls. Ooh, ah, I, ooh, it hurt me and I didn't even get hit. It hurt me and I didn't even get hit. What, what's going on? Obligatory lifting up of a motorcycle above his head, pulling cars packed full of people, and that kind of thing. But that's boring. This is a guy who can lift up. Hey, if you work a nine to five and you want out, check this out. Hey, no, so, 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 a fully grown man with just his teeth. A day's training for this real life man of steel involves being hit with planks of wood, lengths of steel, and sledgehammers by his closest buddies. Then for a warm down, having them drive their cars over his- What the fuck? What the What the fuck? Why is this man like this? Why is he like this? Why is he having people drive over his body? What is, what is really going on here? Tell me what's going on here his body over and over again. Amandeep claims that he doesn't feel any pain thanks to a lifetime practicing Sikh martial arts, which condition both the body and the mind. Whatever he's doing, it's obviously working. What? Which condition both the body and the mind. Then this man just doing, jump off and land on his- arts, Which condition both the body he and the mind. He just jumped off and landed on his stomach with boots. What? I should have known by why he was getting a sledgehammer to the ball set that he didn't care about his life. I should have known. Okay. Dmitry Politov. 
It's easy to draw similarities between Dmitry Polotov and a daredevil when you see exactly what kind of acrobatic stunts this guy is capable of. He's a performer in the Cirque du Soleil, who knows all too well the stunts he gets up to when he's bored or in front of a camera. Recently, while traveling, they expressly forbid him from doing anything crazy, and luckily for us, he didn't listen. Amazingly, he's able to reach over a railing 100 feet off the ground into a one-armed handstand just by gripping the railing with his other hand and extending his entire body over the sheer drop below making a mockery of what we think the human body is capable of. Once you see this Russian powerhouse on a pole, it's a different story. He's able to perch himself on top with just a single hand and foot before sliding down and lifting his entire body parallel to the ground. Now that's something I didn't see coming. Lucas Novotny the Marvel Cinematic Universe may have Hawkeye, but in the real world, we have Lucas Novotny. It's hard enough to hit the bullseye on a target, but almost impossible to nail accurate shots over and over as you ride past, galloping on horseback at speed. This is his superpower. Whether it's keen eyesight, incredible reflexes, or some sort of immeasurable talent and affinity for archery, we're pretty sure this guy has it. Over history, most armies had riders on horseback to support their ground troops, but it's a bit of a lost art form these days. Seeing Lucas hit a moving target coming from the opposite direction is proof that he gets top honors as the world's best at what he does. He may not have bulging muscular arms or chiseled abs, but one thing's for sure, this man has the skills to earn himself that matching purple mask and like her leotard. Leandro Granado. Cyclops may be what? able to blast Wait. lasers from his eyes. What's coming out of his Leandro eyes? What is, what is coming out of his eyes? What? Where are these people from? Where are these people from? Tell me right now where the ball, where the, where's the ball sack sledgehammer man from? That's what I want to know because I'm staying far away from that. Granado. Cyclops may be able to blast lasers from his eyes, but can he paint a picture? No. But he sure can destroy walls and vaporize bad guys. Leandro Granado is proof that beauty isn't in the eye of the beholder, what? but what gets squirted out of it. To create these truly one-of-a-kind masterpieces, he inhales a mixture of ink paint diluted with saline solution up his nose and uses some pretty insane pressure blasted through his eustachian tube to spray a canvas in true style. When he was a kid, he realized his freakish ability and used it to entertain his schoolmates. How do you discover you could snort up paint and skirt it at your eye? How do you discover that as a kid? It's just like, <sighs> like what? Now he makes a living from his rather unique ability. Remember, art doesn't have to be good for it to be appreciated, or better yet, valuable. Still, it would be better if Leandro could squirt something cooler like acid or venom, or maybe webs like Spider-Man. What do I be watching these days? What the heck did I do? I just, that man just got hit in the ball site with a sledgehammer. I'm still stuck on that guy. I, I think that was the worst guy out of the world. If I see that guy in the street, I ain't even gonna mess with him. I, I don't care what he does. I, I, I ain't finna touch him. I ain't not. That man got hit with a sledgehammer in the ball sack. Had a man jump off of a 10 feet ladder, land on his stomach. Has cars roll over for, roll over him for fun? Man? Y'all let me know in the comments down below what y'all would do if that man slapped your girl booty right in front of you. The man walked up. Grabbed it, suck it around, you feel me? What are you doing, huh? You can't take a sledgehammer to his head, he go eat it. You can't kick him in the balls, he go like it. You can't roll over him with your car. He, he do that every day. What are you gonna do, for real? He probably takes gunshots to the head and it's like, wow, was that a fly, man? Uh, uh. <sighs> this interview, you gotta judge and make sure you like right now, man. Let me know if y'all got any superpowers in the comments down below. Cause I feel like I can't be the only person out here with superpowers. Now I'm 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 hyping these people up with their superpowers, but me, I know I got way better superpowers. Like, you wanna see something? Cool. You wanna see me do it again? You saw that? You now I'm saying it's really it's a, I'm really fast when I do this stuff, you know what I'm saying? But um yeah, before you dip out though, make sure you cop yourself. A wave creator brush, wavecreator.com. You know the vibes, man. You know the Jew rags. We always got the Jew rags. We just started selling the brushes, so go get the brushes before they all sell out. But um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna see y'all. Ouch. Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.